All right, so the Gears 5, it's here. And uh, first thing that hit me on the PC version, running in 84K, uh, right now you guys can't see it. I'm running a pass-through that goes directly through my splitter, which I will show you what kind of splitter I'm using on separate video. That goes to my Samsung CH G90, and also goes to my BenQ 32 inch. Currently, I'm using my BenQ pass through on my 32 inch 4K monitor. And let me tell you, looking at this on my 32 inch 4K monitor, it just looks perfect. It looks perfect. The best way for me to describe the graphics of Gears 5, it's like Naughty Dog, on un, un, Uncharted 4 Remastered. Think of this like Uncharted 4 Remastered. It really has that Uncharted 4 graphics, but 2.0, like more advanced. So this is really kudos to Coalition Team, kudos to Rod Ferguson. He really has designed a next generation cons. I mean, next generation. Uh, game. I'm kind of excited. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really excited because you have to see this on PC. This is running on the maximum settings, okay? And it looks just beautiful in 4K. And this video is not going to do it justice because you have to see this on a monitor, like a really good monitor. And I have a BenQ 32-inch. Uh, I haven't tested on my CHG90, my ultra-wide. 50 inch but I'm testing it on my BenQ 32 inch and it looks glorious wow just simply wow look at this detail guys all right let's talk about some negatives okay I want you guys to understand a couple of things I did talk to AMD and they sent me an email they said this newest drivers that they released the newest drivers, uh, 4, 2, 79, or something like that, they are aware that there's some issues, some problems with uh, frame rates and some problems with fairing. Okay, in the beginning of the game, which I am not showing here because I don't want to spoil the game for you, there is some fairing uh, on the screen uh, that shows up once in a while. And the frame rate that I do get on the native 4k maximum settings it's pretty much 49 to 53 okay it stays between 49 and 53 frames per second which in my opinion it's not that bad considering you know that the drivers are having some issues but it's still pretty pretty darn pretty darn good for a game that's running maxed out in native 4k so 49 to 53 frames per second it's not bad at all but you guys have to remember uh, what you're seeing right now here uh, this kind of detail on the plants and everything this kind of textures uh, you're not gonna see that on the Xbox One X what you're gonna see on the Xbox One X it's medium settings medium settings Okay, you're not going to see this maxed out settings that I'm giving you here. All right. So I just want to kind of point that out. Uh, okay. So let's continue. Like I said, you will see some tearing uh, in this game. Like especially when I'm like moving through like this. Once in a while, you'll see some tearing. The frame rate right now, it's 48, 49, 50, 51, 49, 53, 49, 53, still 53, 48, 49. So it, it varies between 48, 49, 53. Oh my god, the volumetric light, guys. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, this game This game has the best lighting that I have ever seen. Wow. Wow, man. Just simply wow. Do I even need well I mean do I even need a real time ray tracing? I mean look at this. This is just simply amazing. Hold on. I got I, I gotta take another photo here just to kind of like maybe show it to you guys. Just to show it to you guys here, I'll take another photo. Like right here. There. I took another photo. Which I will post on my community forums. I want you guys to please bear with me. This is my first look into it. There will be plenty of videos uh, with the monitors, with a Samsung Q8FN. There will be plenty of videos coming out throughout the next three days. There's going to be a limited live stream as well. But I want you guys to bear with me, okay? There's videos coming. This is just like my first bite into this game, all right? There will be plenty of content coming out, all right? But, wow, look at the textures uh, and everything on the ground, man. Very impressive, very impressive, man. This is very impressive so far. Hey, get back. Oh, shit. What the hell? Wow. Uh, I'm gonna search a place that's falling apart. Quickly. Come on, we can use the ledge. Man, I'm I'm so excited, bro. Guys, this video, I know it's in 4K, but still, it's not doing it justice. You gotta see this on a on a monitor, on a 32-inch monitor. Uh it just looks beautiful, man. Okay, I'm getting a 50, 53 now. But as soon there's action happening. As soon as there's stuff happening, I drop down between 48 to 49. It doesn't go below 48. It stays at the 48 and then goes up to 53. So it's between 48 frames per second to 53. Which, in my opinion, it's not bad. It's not great, okay? But you have to please understand something. Please understand something. And I spoke to AMD. I sent them an email, and I was surprised AMD replied to me. They said they are aware of some issues with this newest driver. And they're working with developers, coalition, to patch up these updates. And they're going to patch them up. They're going to patch these updates in the next coming days. Okay? So just be patient. All right? Remember, sometimes it's best to wait a little bit. Because this game, it's not even officially released. This is only special for us early access game pass uh, ultimate subscribers so be patient with the drivers the drivers will be released they will be fixed okay so I don't want you guys to freak out like oh my god you know no 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 they're gonna fix it and this is not bad it's not bad maxed out in native 4k 53 48 frames per second I'm okay I'm good I'm good with that Now on the multiplayer, on the multiplayer, obviously I'm gonna tone it down. I'm gonna put it to medium to high settings to to get that 60 plus uh, frame rate. But look at these graphics, man! Look at this, man! This is like. Bears plan to launch a satellite from here. It seems a little half baked. Well, half baked plans are kind of Baird's specialty. How Baird even figured out they had a satellite? My father. Before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets in this island. This is up. like, um, it's really like un Uncharted 4. It's like, honestly, it's almost as if the Naughty Dog worked on this game. And it really shows what Unreal Engine 4 can do. 
Uh, I think a lot of people misunderestimate the Unreal Engine 4 because I feel that developers never squeezed 100% the power of Unreal Engine 4 and what Unreal Engine 4 can do. And here, uh, this just looks beautiful, man. It's like Uncharted 4 Remastered. It's really good looking. The sense of depth and the way it looks, it's really amazing. Remember, I'm not uh, so much testing performance here. I'm just looking at the graphics. But the frame rate, like I said, it's 48 to 53. Everything maxed out. Oh, let's go. This is the opening over here. Hey, over there. Be useful. Wow. Now he's dropping down to 43, 47. Now it's 48 again. 50, 49, 50. Now it's 49, 50. 53. Didn't expect there still be bodies. Only a handful of us made it off as a long line. All right, so uh, I'm not going to spoil too much here. This is just my first look into this game. And uh, on the PC, the bottom line is this, guys. Bottom line is this. Right now, with these new drivers, it's not ready for prime time. I think the best thing to do, I think the best thing to do for you guys is to... Uh, is to wait to wait okay to wait for uh, a newest update drivers from AMD all right so wait for the newest updates right now currently these new updates there's some problems with the tearing and the frame rate you've seen you know it sometimes it slows down I don't know if you notice the tearing there's like a the tearing that that happens okay it's a horizontal tearing that goes up and down up and down up and down once in a while and the frame rate goes between 48 to 53 sometimes drops down to 47 so it's like 48 53 48 53 okay and what I would do personally on a PC guys I would wait till AMD patches up a new update I would not right now jump into this game and play it I mean I can't play it with with 48 to 53 but I think it's better if you wait for them to patch it up with the newest update and then go ahead and and uh, and play this game that's what I would do but I'm pretty sure they're gonna fix it I'm pretty sure they're gonna address this uh, problem they're working on it because they, I, they did let me know. I contacted the AMD. They said they're aware of this problem, of this 4.279 driver. They're working on it, and they're gonna address this issue pretty soon. Uh, I think that's the that's the driver right here. Let me double look into it. Uh, let me see. Uh, the driver. The driver. It's 1972. I'm sorry, guys. It's 1972. That's the driver that they're like currently have. It's 19.7.2. So it's a 19.7.2. And uh, it's a 1972. I apologize for that. I don't know why I said 2.479. Maybe that's going to be the driver they're going to put uh, next. But the one that's having issue it's uh, 19.72 
1972. 1972 is the driver that's having an issue. So 1972 is the one that's having an issue. And the AMD told me they're going to fix this problem. All right, so I hope you guys uh, uh, appreciate this, my first look into this PC version. Like I said, there will be more videos. This is just my first, very first look into it. Stay tuned, okay? Graphically, I'm impressed, guys. What I'm seeing here, graphically, I'm like super stoked, super impressed. And uh, I think you guys will notice that as well when, when you see it in 4K. When this video is processed in 4K, I think you guys will notice that as well. <clears throat> I will have a separate 4K HDR video that I'm going to show you as well. Okay? This is just like my first look into it. Thank you for watching. All right, guys? Thank you. I'll see you on the next video.